We are here at the residence of the Malaysian Ambassador and this is a special event because of uh, Bubur Lumbok uh, is a special food prepared for Ramadan and sir uh, how is it going? Magalang uh, Ampun. First of all, thank you very much for being here today. Uh -huh. uh, today is a very special occasion because for the month of Ramadan, mm -hmm. we are preparing a special dish called Bubur Lumbok. Mm -hmm. It's made from rice, uh, meat, and of course some special condiments which we prepare. Mm -hmm. And Bubo Lambo is usually uh, eaten at the break of fast of Giftar. So on that occasion today we came uh, together as a society and family of Malaysian embassy. There's so many many others and we prepare this and to, to, to give it and of course to share it with our Filipino friends and of course our Muslim friends. Uh, we will also be selling some of these to our dignitaries in the Philippines, including the President, inshallah, and of course the Vice President, and many other foreign secretaries, and so on. And we hope you will enjoy this in, in the spirit of solidarity with everyone. Enjoy this, this uh, special dish. And I must thank, of course, the, uh, the Embassy of Malaysia for the uh, Ladies Association of Malaysia, the Wakila, and of course, Bajaya Hotel, which helped us organize and prepare this special dish. And I hope invite you, all of you, to, to, to taste this, this dish. And I hope you enjoy it. Mm. Alright, so of course uh, we have viewers right now are so curious about uh, why do Malaysian also celebrate Ramadan? So maybe I'll ask uh, can you tell us your name? Uh, my name is Farid. Alright, so why do Malaysian uh, celebrate Ramadan? Oh, this is, uh, this is uh, part of our uh, Islamic uh, celebration uh, that we celebrate every year after the end of Ramadan. So at the end of Ramadan, we will celebrate uh, Eid al-Fitri, which is uh, uh, to signify uh, the end of Ramadan and the beginning of Shawwal. So this is something that we do every year. Uh, and we also have this beautiful lady. Uh, tell us your name, please. Nadira. Nadira. Wow. Okay. So uh, what are the challenges, you know, celebrating Ramadan? Because not all people know some of the challenges that you encounter. Uh, well, uh, for those who are not aware, for Ramadan we refrain ourselves from eating and drinking and other worldly pleasures from uh, dusk to dawn, sorry, dawn to dusk. <laughs> and among the challenges is of course the weather. It's uh, very hot, very humid, so we get hungry, we get thirsty, and especially in the um, country that is not majority Muslim. So we see other people drinking, eating, going about as usual. So that's quite a challenge as well as amazing. Oh, that's wonderful to hear. You know, not all people uh, know this information. No, but we have this other beautiful lady here. Tell us your name, please. My name is Nurima. All right. Well, it's really wonderful to see you today with, 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 with that lovely uh, dress. <laughs> okay. You. Now, um, of course, you know, there's fasting uh, with uh, Ramadan. And well, for, for me, uh, as I see it, you know, it's like, Avoiding sometimes temptations in life, right? So, yes. how does it help you to be more, you know, blessed in life? Um, well, during Ramadan, we refrain ourselves from eating and drinking and actually cleanse ourselves so that we can, you know, um, uh, do some reflection on, you know, on life and also what uh, we want to become in the future. So it's really a uh, holy, you know, holy month uh, for all of us, um, and um, you know, to become a better person. Okay, uh, that's that's really you know nice thought from you. Now um, I'll go back to um, ambassador. ambassador. Really nice thoughts that you had earlier. But of course, we are so curious. Um, how does it help you? Of, of course, you know, if everyone uh, you know celebrates Ramadan. How will it help the community in, in, in the Philippines, the Malaysian uh, community as well, and well, the Muslim? You. Thank you. Very, very good question. Mm -hmm. You know, in Malaysia, we come from, from a country of multi religious, multi racial society. Mm -hmm. We have the Malays, we have the Chinese, we have the Indians, from the Virginians, and all of us come from different cultures and different faiths. But during Ramadan, we all come together as one nation, one society. Mm -hmm. And you respect each other and tolerate, of course, our different tolerances. And I think it's very important. I think that during Ramadan, we try to practice this idea of peace, understanding, and tolerance. You know? and I think in, 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 I, I see it very often here in the Philippines too, where I see the, the Muslims and the Christians, which is the majority, live together in harmony. And I think it's a very special occasion. 
And I think Ramadan exemplifies in that particular that, that special relationship. You know? And I've been to a few of this, so we have the stars here. And I see how the Muslims and the Christians come together and respect each other and understand what it all means. So that's a beauty, as yes, my, my, my colleague has said. I think the beauty of, of, of understanding peace and tolerance, I think it's very important in a country where we have different faiths and different, different cultures and, and races. And, and I think that's special for me, Ramadan. And also, I, I enjoy celebrating in Indonesia. I think it's a wonderful country. Yeah. I, I just arrived and, and I can see the beauty of the Philippines. And I hope to, to be able to continue to closely work uh, and, and, of course, spread this spirit of goodwill with all Filipinos and Malaysians, of course, and together with a peaceful society. So, I love from the Malaysian as a yeah. question. Oh, welcome to the Philippines, sir. So, you're very new. And we are happy to be with you. Now, going back to the dish, so this is a special dish, right? <laughs> so it's cooked for how long? It, sta uh, it started for 7.30 in the morning. Uh, yeah, and this is good for for your uh, first dinner for the day at That's right. At 6 .15. Yeah. Because uh, basically it's made from rice mm -hmm. and of course meat, condiments and of course a bit of vegetables. So it's very nutritious. When you open, when you break a fast, you need to have a dish that is, mm -hmm. uh, I would say, nutritious and not heavy, you know, and light. Mm -hmm. So it eases into your stomach easily. And this is a very good dish. And, but also can be enjoyed by everybody else because, mm -hmm. uh, like I said, it's tasty, it's like a porridge, full of nutrition, and mm -hmm. of course, we have a little bit of spices there mm -hmm. to make it uh, a bit more, I would say, uh, enticing to, to the palate. Uh, we'll try it later. You want to try it, please? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Sure. Okay. yeah for any time of the day. It doesn't have to be a iftar, but for iftar, yeah. we especially prepare it for for Middle Eastern Islam practitioners, they have dates, right? Yes. So since we are in Asia, we have rice. So now <laughs> you have this porridge. Yes. We, we also break with our dates first, but mm -hmm. this is an uh, addition, which is a special addition to, to, mm -hmm. to, to the Iftar break of fast. And, and in Malaysia, we normally also, uh, in, a, in a mosque and masjid, we cook it as a community, again, to have the feel of community and we mm -hmm. share it among all the needy and of course those who require mm -hmm. because it's like I said very nutritious and filling. So mm -hmm. and of course today we are going to share it with our Filipino uh, counterparts and, and friends and families you know, and we hope you enjoy it and share the beauty of Ramadan with all of us. Uh, the meat that goes with that, is it beef or uh, goat meat? Today we use beef, but oh. traditionally it can be with chicken. Can be, we can even have, I, we have done before. How about fish? Vegan, vegan. Yeah, fish oh, we've done vegan, before. Yeah. Vegan, bobo, lambo. Of course, they're not traditional, <laughs> but we can do it. No, mm -hmm. It's quite worth start. But it's very special because it's yeah. beef, right? It's, it's mm -hmm. beef. Normally we use beef yeah. or chicken, you know, either one. But beef is the traditional. Mr. Right. Yeah, ambassador, yeah, bobo, lambo, it's very savory. Like that. So, yeah. how do you see its potential as a cultural export? Uh, well, um, yes, <laughs> it has to be done fresh. The thing about it has to be done fresh. So I think what we will do, what we are planning to do, of course, we have Malaysian chef in Philippines. We hope to, uh, you know, be able to impart this knowledge of preparing bobo lambo to our uh, local uh, yeah. chefs. In fact, this this today we had uh, some chefs from the Jaya mm -hmm. Hotel, Mission Hotel here, and they are Filipino chefs. So they, they they studied and learned how to prepare this. So we hope in the future this can be also. Be a part of our cultural, you know, cuisine that we can we can you know share with our Filipino uh, friends and families. Yeah, maybe it's it's actually an update from our from our yoga, which is very yeah. yeah, yeah. No, it says it, there's many versions to this. You know, in mm -hmm. Malaysia we have this version. I'm sure in Philippines there's something similar also. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And I, I love your chicken and the bobo. Can it be served even if it's not Ramadan? Yeah. Yes, yes, of course. Yeah. Of course. Okay. Yeah. Yes, yeah. Oh yeah, perfect. Yeah. All right, and I do have a follow-up question for sir. Um, you know, I've just noticed that when we came inside, I feel like there is like inner peace with you guys. I there's like, I feel relaxed. You know, there's there's this positive aura and positive vibe. So, um, is inner peace um, helping also? You know, celebrating Ramadan, yes. not just for the Muslims, right? But you know, I I, I truly appreciate what's you're doing right now as a Muslim. Yeah, I think it is definitely something that when you undergo fasting in Ramadan, it's not only uh, you refrain from eating and also drinking, it's also inside you. So you also control your emotions, you always uh, like to have good thoughts and this is the time for reflections as well, of, uh, as, well as uh, infractions where you look deep inside 
and see yeah. how you can be a better person and how you can be a better uh, member of the community. So Ramadan brings that uh, out in you. Very well said. So since you, you have that words of wisdom, I'm going to ask uh, as a parting ways from this beautiful lady as well. Uh, any words of wisdom that you would like to share celebrating this Ramadan that you would like to share to the viewers of um, the world? Well, for Ramadan, uh, for Muslims, it's like a month, as my uh, colleague just said, it's a month of reflection, it's a month of um, uh, internalizing your, your thoughts and emotions. So this is what uh, we would like to share with Filipinos as well. Like, um, as the ambassador said, it's like a, even though Muslims fast, but also we would like to share the culture and share our food. Um, so it's a month of sharing a spirit of togetherness. So that's what you know, we would like to share with you. Thank you. And lastly, to to Mang, any words of wisdom that you would like to share? Um, happy Ramadan. Uh, yeah. We hope uh, we can um, uh, extend uh, our our uh, reflection to all the community here, and also to you know to the poor community. And um, we we you know uh, during Ramadan we we didn't eat and we didn't drink, so we. We understand how they feel, uh, yeah. you know, the so we share uh, uh, this time to do some good reflection uh, on, on life. Thank you. Wow, what's yeah. very well said. Uh, Sir Allah has a question. Uh, uh, question yeah. Ambassador, ambassador uh, yes, your final words, sir, especially that you just came to the yes. Philippines. Uh, first of all, thank you to my Filipino friends and mm -hmm. family who are here. Uh, again, I'd like to wish everyone a salam Ramadan. We hope this, um, this Ramadan month will be the start of a, of a special relationship between all our communities. Uh, like my, my friend just said here, it's a moment of reflection. I hope this reflection brings us to a uh, different platform of peace and understanding and tolerance of us. And we hope to share this with all our Filipino communities. And I feel very comfortable with you. Thank you very much for making me feel very at home. I hope to, to, to meet all of you. And I am Malaysian, by the way. And, and, and thank you once again for being such a hospitable guest. Thank you. Thank you. Can we take a photo yeah, yeah. Uh, okay. four of you? This is for our press release. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> Did you like the interview? Yes. yes, yes. All right. All right. So, very casual. Very, very okay. One, two, three. One more. One, two, three. Can we join? Okay. Yeah. Can we join no, no. here? Yeah. Just this click this one. Thing, this is actually on video, but click this. All right. Would you like to join? Ah, sure thing. Sure. Yeah. Can you come closer, please? Yeah, closer. Yeah. One, two, three. One, two, three. Okay, one more. Two, three. Okay. Sorry, my friend. Yeah, for. Sorry, uh, you're from? From the Tribune. Oh. Uh, we're from the Tribune. <laughs> did, you, did you pick the colors that you will be wearing today? Yes, yes. Oh, nice. I feel like I'm a royal person today. <laughs> okay. One more, one more for you. One more here, sir. Okay, please look. One more. Oh, that looks good in the painting. Okay. All right. Thank you so much. That's that's all.